Hello everybody welcome to our class passionate learners so today in this class we will learn about the functions of philosophy of education the concept is understanding the functions of philosophy of education so in this topic we we will learn about what is philosophy its etymological meaning and what is education and again its etymological meaning of education the concept and meaning of philosophy of education and the next one is functions of philosophy of education so now starting with what is philosophy philosophy is to know about our internal self and the world around us it is to gain the in depth insight about ourselves or the world around us i can say that it is one of the ancient subject i can also say that it is the mother of all sciences means the lang- the subject the languages or maybe the subjects like physics maths everything came out of philosophy and deep thinking about a concept of or a subject is also known as philosophy philosophy is the science of knowledge according to fitch and according to dr sarve palli radhakrishnan philosophy is a logical inquiry into the nature of reality etymological meaning of philosophy so naf this philosophy is actually from a greek word and philosophy philo means love and sophia means wisdom it is divided into two words philo means love and sophia means wisdom so love towards wisdom is nothing but philosophy next one we need to know meaning of education so now what is education education means to gain knowledge acquisition of knowledge skills values morals beliefs and habits each and everything comes under education and now if we get into the etymological meaning of education it is a latin word it came out of latin word educare which means to bring up to bring out the internal abilities which are within ourselves so all the knowledge is within us if we want to uh, bring bring up or bring out the concept which is within us then the then the subject is known as education getting into the concept of philosophy of education so in brief let me explain about this philosophy of education so if education has some problems in it if we make use of philosophy to solve those problems that is to solve the educational problems if we make use of philosophy then it is known as philosophy of education i'll repeat it again it is a philosophical process of solving educational problems through philosophical method from a philosophical attitude to arrive at phys- philosophical conclusions and result so in simple if we make use of philosophical methods to solve the educational problems it is known as philosophy of education i hope i'm clear with this so now if you can see here there are few indian philosophers and few western philosophers so if we take help of all these people to solve the problems in the education then we can say that it is philosophy of education next the branches of philosophy there are three branches metaphysics axiology and epistemology and now getting into the schools of philosophy we have already discussed about indian schools of philosophy like samkhya yoga nyaya vaisheshika mimamsa if you haven't 
gone through those video i'll provide you the link in the description box kindly go through it and now the western schools of philosophy are idealism naturalism pragmatism and there is also marxism and there are many other schools also so each and every school has again branches in it that is the metaphysics axiology and epistemology so now what are the functions of philosophy of education i already said that if there are any problems in education if we make use of philosophy then it is known as philosophy of education its basic function is to solve the problems in education so where do we actually find the problems in education the first one is aims of education the second one is curriculum the third one is methods of teaching the fourth one is teacher and the fifth one is the administration so what kind of methods or what kind of subjects from philosophy are we making use here to solve the educational problems the first one is idealism here we are making use of western schools of philosophy in which idealism is the first one what is idealism idealism is all about mind and soul so if we have here we need not to consider about the body physical body we are only bothered about the mind and soul the ideas feelings and ideals so that is nothing but idealism and the second one is the naturalism what is naturalism it is all about the body it is all about the nature nature which is uh, existing around us and it completely denies the existence of spirit uh, we can say that it is opposite of idealism idealism is all about spirit and naturalism is something which is about the existence means the reality and now the pragmatism pragmatism is the philosophy of practical experience practical experience in the sense uh, experiential with a method of learning is pragmatism and now getting into aims of education what is the basic aim of education it is gaining all round development of all round development means attainment of all round development in a child is the basic aim of education then what is this all round development a child should be developed in physical aspect mental aspect intellectual aspect and spiritual aspects so uh, let us consider an example of the spiritual aspect how a child can be developed by spiritual aspect the spiritual aspect again we are taking help of idealism which is the branch of philosophy so we are making use of idealism in order to uh in order to attain in order to attain the uh, spiritual aspect in the child so that's how philosophy is helping out in education and the next one is curriculum we all know curriculum is the amalgamation of the academic and non academic aspects academic plus non academic is nothing but curriculum so now if we consider the academic concept academ in academic concept children will be having subjects like language physics math science and social right so now each and every subject cannot be taught with the same method or same principle each and every subject need different methods and different techniques to uh, teach right so now if here how does philosophy is helping out here in the curriculum so uh, for example if we wanted to teach the subject social science social science is something in which we learn all the rules and regulation laws everything so we are um, we are applying it in the real life that is nothing but experiential learning which is pragmatism which is again from philosophy and if we are we are uh, willing to learn the subjects like literature or about any religion we are making use of idealism idealism it is again from philosophy idealism speaks about the spiritual mind uh, spiritual mind and about soul and 
naturalism naturalism is nothing but learning by doing means uh, it it is a kind it it's a kind of child centered strategy means if you wanted to learn the subjects like uh, uh, science or biology you will perform few experiments all these comes under naturalism which is again related to philosophy so that's how philosophy is helping curriculum and the next one is methods of teaching so methods of teaching we already know there are different kinds of methods of teaching like learning by doing method lecture method and experimental method learning by doing method i already said we are using it in naturalism and lecture method idealism experimental method is pragmatism so next one in teaching see teacher is the important person whom child considers uh, as a child gives very much importance to teacher so a teacher should be a role model to child if the teacher wants to be a role model to child she should have good knowledge about what is philosophy i already said that philosophy is to gain in depth insight upon particular topic right so if she wanted to teach any subject if she is teaching math or science or social or any language she need to have the in depth insight upon the knowledge then only she can give the good subject knowledge to a child so that's why she needs philosophy so she should have an idealistic corner what is an idealistic corner uh idealistic corner means she should know about all the ethics morals and she should have the naturalistic corner naturalistic corner in the sense she should be a state setter and she need to work behind the screen that is a child center strategy she need to implement in the class and enough in a pragmatist she should also have a pragmatist corner what is this pragmatist she need to be a facilitator she need to be a guide that is she need to be a helping hand for a child to live his life or her life and now getting into administration we all know administration is about totalitarian and the democratic so which kind of administration does the society need this will also be given by the this knowledge will also be given by the philosophy right now we have the democratic kind of administration and next one is the descriptive normative and analytical functions of philosophy so now getting into the descriptive function of philosophy descriptive in the sense everything is uh, written written by the ancient philosophers if we take help of all the written philosophies and solve the problems uh, solve the educational problems then we can say that this is the function of descriptive philosophy and now getting into the normative function the name itself indicates the norms rules and regulations so it sets some norm norm set some norms its basic function is to set some norms why do we set this norms in order to achieve the goal a person should follow this norms and conditions means in order to live a fruitful life a person should follow this norms and conditions so that's how normative function helps and next one is the analytic function means analysis reasoning thinking logic everything so logical thinking about a theory logical thinking about the language everything comes under the analytical function rethinking analyzing and illuminating according to abilities is the analytical function of philosophy so getting into the conclusion the conclusion is nothing but we have learned we have gained enough knowledge about how philosophy is helping education so that's why philosophy is very much important in solving the problems related to education uh it it's it is helping teachers it is helping the curriculum for, uh, curriculum framers it is helping the administrators policy makers it's helping students parents and citizens everybody so that's why we need to give very very much importance to philosophy and philosophy of education so i hope i'm clear with the concept of this functions of philosophy 
and that's it guys uh, if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video uh, please do like share comment and subscribe to passionate learners thank you so much guys